The way that we've had to achieve high speed in the past is through a geared system. We had to do a bull and pinion gear to increase our speed on the uh, drive shaft, on the output shaft for the impeller. It creates, one, we have to have an oil system to keep those gears lubricated in addition to the bearing system. And then those, those gears become another friction point, another wear point. It further reduces the actual efficiency of a system. By going direct to the shaft, we are able to reduce all of that extra mechanical friction and wear in the process. So that's one improvement for having a direct shaft system, which is arguably a very big improvement over a, a gear drive system for a high speed, right? Uh, now, the big difference you have from going low speed to high speed is just the size of the compressor. With a high speed, you can use a smaller impeller. The whole package becomes much smaller in size uh, to move that refrigerant versus with a Low speed, you, you need a much larger impeller and system in order to get the same, um, the same energy added to the refrigerant to create the lift and such we need.